The control system for Royal Technics robot, Hulk, is written in Simulink using the, both the built-in blocks from VEX and custom programming. The first part of our code is the state flow block. When button 7 is pressed, a switch is changed and the state flow block switches between the drive mode and the autonomous mode. The robot starts in the driver control mode, which sets the drive wheels to the corresponding joysticks and the arms to the arm buttons. After the switch is triggered, the state flow block switches to auto drive mode. It starts by setting an end statement called done to false. In auto 1, the robot waits for one tenth of a second. In auto 2, the robot goes forward for 1.6 seconds. And in auto 3, the robot stops going forward and moves the arm down for 1.5 seconds. In auto 4, the robot arm stops moving and the robot goes backwards for 1.6 seconds. Lastly, in auto 5, the robot stops moving and sets done to true. Then the robot goes back to driver control. The next part of the code is the drive system, which is shown above. When the joysticks are moved, they output a signal with a value from negative 127 to 127, depending on how far and in which direction the joysticks are pushed. This signal is sent to the state flow after it is adjusted by a deadband. This deadband is set to 3, so if the joystick is sending a value of 3 or less, the robot will not move. The next part of our code is the part that opens and closes the multi-tool. We knew that the buttons on the controller give a 1 or 0 value, depending on whether or not they are being held. We want our motors to be working at full power, so we use a 127 gain block to multiply the value of 1 by 127. There is an addition block that is set up to work as subtraction to make the top button move the arm up, and the bottom button to move the arm down. When the 5 up button is pressed, a value of 1 is sent to the motor, and when the 5 down button is pressed, a value of 1 is input, but is being subtracted, so the output value is negative 1. The code for our arm functions the same as the code for the gripper, but it uses buttons 6 up and down instead of 5 up and down. We use two identical pieces of code to control the servos used for the light pull dispensers. A button is pressed to send a 1 or 0 value that makes a switch block change between a value of negative 60 and 60. This value is sent to the servo to change its position. Simulation blocks were also added to our code. There are sliders which can be moved to simulate the joysticks being pushed to control the wheels, input blocks to show what the exact value of sliders are inputting, and output blocks that show what value the motors are outputting based on what has been input. We also have button blocks which output a value of 1 or 0. This simulates the buttons pressed to control our arm, gripper, and light pull dispensers.